Well, the next next participant is Andrew Dijon. Okay, Andrew is a dual enrolled who want to Spanish want to Spanish 282 students who want to attend to MSU with a double major in electrical engineer and Spanish. Andrew says that he likes learning Spanish because it helps him to have an alternative view of life. Tonight, Andrew will be playing the marimba to the song Mexican Murals by Thomas A. Brown. The song is a combination of many styles, singing the various forms of Mexican music with a variety of rhythms and melodies. Okay, Andrew. Sharmisha Austin. Okay? Um, so, and don't forget to send in your text votes. You can vote more than once. So, if you have one more than one favorite performance, that's okay. Um, so, don't forget to text in your votes. Um, Sharmisha Austin is our next performer. Sharmisha is a first year MOP student and she's interested in studying art for illustration. Uh, she was really interested in anime, watched a lot of anime, and that's how she became interested in Japanese. Tonight, she will be singing Tuxedo Mirage in Japanese. Um, the song is about um, love, and uh, it's from a Japanese anime show called Sailor Moon. So let's hear it for number seven on your list, Sharmisha Austin. Mika no Kanasha. 
students who is, uh, as she called it, um, importer New Western. She has traveled to numerous countries and lived for an extensive period of time in four other countries. She has been married for 35 years to her husband and she also volunteered her time working with the first graders here in Flint to help them learn in Spanish. Any learning French as a child because she lived abroad, and tonight she will be reading the well known French fable, The Crow and the Fox. Okay, and him? such as the hare and the tortoise, the grasshopper and the ant. These fables, English poetry, is still read by children 350 years later. It is studied in universities. This is a, uh, this is a textbook from my, from my days in, in school. And the story of the, of the crow and the fox. The crow has a piece of cheese. He's in the tree. The fox wants the cheese. So he flatters the crow about his voice. Now, crows all over the world have horrible voices. And the crow goes like this, and he rubs the cheese, and the fox eats the cheese and gives a lesson on not listening to the flowers. Alors, le corbeau et le renard met un corbeau sur un arbre perché, tiene son bec de fromage. Met le renard, par odeur arraché, lui dit un peu. Après son langage, 
Et bonjour, monsieur le Congo. Comme vous êtes joli, comme vous semblez beau, sans mentir à votre hommage, si votre, si votre hommage rapporte à votre hommage, vous êtes le phénix des autres de ces voix. À ces mots, le Congo se sent pas de, pas de joie. Et pour montrer sa voix, sa belle voix, il faut ça l'a fait et laisser tomber sa voix. Renard, en s'en cessant, et dit Mon bon monsieur, apprenez que tout menteur vit au dépend de celui qui l'écoute. Ces dessins vont bien, vont bien à un fromage, sans doute. Le corbeau honteux et confus jouera, mais un peu, mais un peu tard, quand, quand le lui prenne Said they would when Corinne performing in French, as you had asked her to say. <laughs> We're going to take a brief intermission of yeah. like about 10 minutes, um, and then we will get started with number 10 on the list. So we're going to take a brief intermission, about 10 minutes. Thank you for your votes. I just checked on the voting poll, so the votes are coming in. Great job. You guys have all made great choices. Everybody's been wonderful so far. Uh, so around. continue to vote, and in about 10 minutes, we will start again with number 10 on our list. All right, stick around. Thank you. Okay. Hello, we are back. All right, so thank you guys so much uh, for sticking around, and thank you for your votes. If you had a problem voting, I did get a bunch of votes all at the same time, so I logged those votes and cleared it out, so you should be good to go. Uh, we do appreciate all the votes, and... Mm -hmm. Um, we are right on schedule with our program. Yes, okay, I hope so. Okay, she's going to do the presentations now. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm leaving proof that this is an international talk show. <laughs> and then, okay, um, yeah, we'll try to get, what's the next thing we so have? Next up, uh, number 10, for those of you who are voting, we have Cassidy, Cassidy, last name? Wojtanowski, I knew I was thinking of Wojtanowski. And Cassidy is singing a song in Japanese a cappella. Um, Cassidy is a Japanese 112 student, so second semester Japanese, uh, with um, Professor Hardy. And Cassidy says that she loves to learn about new cultures. Um, she loves Japanese music, and she also loves to write. She hopes to one day become a professional writer. Cassidy will be performing the Japanese song Kuragai no Uta, which means the jellyfish song. So let's give a nice round of applause to Cassidy. Yura, yura, yura meku, nami no mani, kira, kira, Which is what he will be singing tonight. 
He has performed many, many times. Um, he is a business major and is pursuing a career in law. Tonight, Todd will be singing an Italian song titled La Luna Mezzo Mare. The song is an Italian tarantella or wedding song. So let's hear it for Todd. Thank you very much. How's everybody doing out there? There we go. Well, we've had some good talent tonight. I'm kind of embarrassed to go next. You know, a little jittery. But this song, has any, anybody ever been to an Italian wedding before? Anybody? Any Italians out there? Boy, good. I can mess it up and no one will care. <laughs> well, this song is called Che la Luna Mezzo Mare, and I hope you like it. So here we go. Some nice lights. Thank you. 